Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry here from Inspired by Fitness. And today is day two of our Reset Fitness Challenge. So yesterday we talked about creating SMART goals. Um, and we also talked about summer workouts and some of the um, things that key things that we want to focus on in during our summer workouts. Okay. Um, so today, two tips and tricks. The first one is focusing on your why. So we create a goal and then you want to think about why. Why are you doing this goal? Is it to create more energy to play with your grandchildren? Um, is it to fit into a dress size? Is it because it will make you feel confident? Um, why is your, what is your why? It should be something very personal to you um, and should mean a lot. So you're going to write it down on a piece of paper. You're going to place it on a mirror, um, either in the bathroom or on, maybe even on the fridge, somewhere where you're going to see it every single day. And it's going to remind you of why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, especially it's going to give you motivation when you're very tired and you don't feel very motivated. It's going to get that extra push to, to keep moving and keep pushing on. Okay, so write down your why. Why are you doing this? All right. Next is mind muscle connection. So the fit tip is making great mind muscle connection. So essentially, you're going to take your mind, focus on the muscle group that you're working on. And as you're going through the motion, really focusing in on that muscle. Okay, so um, if I'm doing a bent over row, I really want to focus on squeezing my, um, having my shoulders back, squeezing my shoulder blades, feeling my back muscles squeeze together. And the more that I focus on those muscles, that's where I'm going to feel it more. Okay, sounds kind of silly, I know, but it's true. All right, versus just pulling weight to pull weight and you might be scrunching your neck, it reduces risk of injury and also you... Uh, <laughs> Hello, good morning. And also, it's a great way to focus on um, knowing what you're doing. A lot of times we go to the gym or we go to class and we're doing these exercises and we're exercising, we feel good, but we have no idea where we're supposed to be feeling them or why we're doing them. So, um, great, making great my muscle connection you could use, like isometric contractions, slowing down contractions, very slow eccentric contractions. Again, making that good mind muscle connection, bicep curls, slowing it down. Do you feel it in your in your biceps or are other muscle groups taking over? Right? Um, so the row we talked about the back, doing push-ups, feeling it across the chest, and making sure that we're not using muscle groups that we don't want. Um, our body to take over. Your body will always help itself out. So if I'm doing push-ups, I again we want to feel across my uh, my pecs, okay, bit in the tricep, and you don't want to have too much up into the shoulder and neck, okay. So if you do, again we need to adjust your position, okay. Now if you're doing exercises and you're not sure where you're supposed to be feeling it. Um, ask your instructor, ask your trainer, you can ask a friend in the gym, all right? You can read some of the machines, have instructions, um, and feeling it where you're supposed to feel it, that type of stuff, okay? So today's tips, focus on your why and making great mind-muscle connection, all right? And that's it for today. So I'll see everyone tomorrow for day number three. Bye, guys.